Well, you know, we, when we started, it was going to be a, the whole brand new thing. It was going to be all uh, 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 new songs. Everything was going to be uh, a complete new, which I've never, ever done before. You know, I've never done a, an album with whole new songs on it. But this one has a great deal. It has, I think, a nine, nine out of 12 songs is, uh, is, is you know, uh, a brand new. And, um, but the covers I've got are kind of unusual, you know. Uh, I've got the covers like uh, a Bruno Mars song, They're Just the Way You Are, it's just amazing. My wife has Alzheimer's and uh, and so I, I, she can't follow me into concerts anymore like she used to, but we have hope in our hearts that she will one day very soon because we're working on a cure for her, you know. But uh, so we're hoping to keep it, keep it going, keep her and, and and uh, music is one thing that really, really helps people in those conditions. So therefore, we, I decided to dedicate this album to her. My granddaughter is nine. I mean, uh, I know people talk, you know, about their grandchildren and things like this. You know, they're great singers and this and that. But uh, for me to say it, 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 say this little girl can sing, I'm telling you, she can sing. I mean, she lives in Nashville, and she's one hell of a singer, you know. She she, like, she loves Aria Grande, she loves uh, uh, the Whitney Houston type of singer, you know. And she's, her phrasing is phenomenal for a nine-year-old. She does all these tricks with her voice, you know. And uh, she does it on the album with this, with this song. I would say it created the most impact that any song has ever created in my life. You know, when I first heard it, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a, uh, just, a, um, I, it was done by Frank Weir, a soprano sax player. And I heard it and I, and I said to Gordon Mills, I said, Gordon, that's a hit. I think that could be the hit for me and, and with this new name and everything. So uh, we, found the mel we found the lyrics and this by um, R&B singer Edith James, and that wasn't it. Uh, that, that, I, couldn't, I couldn't hear it from that, but then I, I heard Ray Price, who was a, a country singer, but I gave it my own twist, you know, and, and it's a country pop, and, and it went to number one around the world, and it stopped the Beatles from having that 13th number one. I only did one collaboration, which was a couple of years ago, and then I worked with some fabulous people like Elton John and Gene Simmons from Kiss, you know, and Willie Nelson, uh, you know, and, uh, quite, a, quite a few others. But uh, I, I think in the near future, having a, the album that's coming out right now, I'd certainly like to do some, something with Bruno. <laughs>